derive the formula, the cosine rule, which is a squared equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. For this, you're going to need to draw a circle, like so. Extend out this axis a little bit, and we're going to draw in a point up here. Um, and a radius here with length b. We're also going to draw a point here. Uh, we're going to give it coordinates c0, so that means this length here is c. And then we're going to join these two points that we've just made with a new length that we're going to call a. This is going to be the angle a. And the coordinates of this point are similar to the unit circle, uh, which would be cos a sine a, but because um, the radius is b, it's b cos a and b sine a. So now we're going to find the distance from b cos a, b sine a, to c0. And to do that, we use the distance formula. d is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So... Our distance, d, is this distance here. So that's a equal to the square root of x2 minus x1. So that's b cos a minus c. b cos a minus c in brackets to be squared. Plus y2 minus y1. So that's b sine a minus zero squared. Okay, so a few things that I can do here. I can square both sides to get rid of the square root sign. So that'll be a squared. Then the square root sign is gone. Now here, b cos a minus c, I can square that. So b cos a minus c, square the first. So that's b squared cos squared a twice the product so minus 2 b c cos a and then the square root of second plus c squared then over here um i have b sine a minus zero so that's just b sine a and i'm going to square it so that's plus b squared sine squared a. So a lot of things in that step there, um, squaring both sides and squaring out the brackets as well. Next I'm going to say a squared is equal to, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out the b squared that I have in these two. So I'm going to say b squared times cos squared a plus sine squared a. Leave them in the brackets. And then I have plus c squared. And I have minus 2bc cos a. You can see that this bit is what I'm looking for at the end. Uh, so is the c squared. I have that. Uh, what about this b squared with this here? Well, cos squared a plus sine squared a is equal to 1. So you can just write that cos squared a plus sine squared a is equal to one. So we can just replace that. Um, so it's b squared times one is just b squared. So now we have therefore a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus two bc cosine a, which is what we were looking for, which is the cosine rule.